Hmm. Look at these pictures coming in from Dashie. Ooh, where is she, Captain? She's exploring a strange underwater cave. There's some amazing stuff in here. Let's run these pictures through the computer to get a good look at the whole cave. Uh, it looks like there's squid and some tropical seaweed. The cave floor's red and wiggly. Those little rocks hanging down look kind of familiar. That's because their teeth and the floor is a tongue. How can a cave have teeth and a tongue? Because it's not a cave peso. It's a, a whale, whale shark. shark. Dashi! Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sort of. You're not in a cave. You're in a whale shark. Get out, now. Uh-oh, closing time. My camera. Dashi, can you hear me? I'm all right, Captain. I'm... The signal can't reach her now that the mouth is shut. She's trapped inside a whale shark. <laughs> we need to get her out. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonaut, this is a whale shark. No, Tunip, a whale shark isn't a whale. It's the biggest fish in the sea. As big as a school bus. It's so big that Dashi thought its mouth was a cave, and now she's disappeared inside it. How dare that dastardly beast swallow our mate! I'm certain he didn't do it on purpose, Quasi. The whale shark is a filter feeder. A filter feeder doesn't use his teeth for biting. He just opens his mouth and swallows whatever's there. And this whale shark swallowed Dashi. <sighs> we have to get her out. Then you'll need to take this whale shark detector. It flashes when a whale shark's near. Quasi, Peso, into the gut. Weak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That's strange. According to the map, the whale shark was right here. But I don't see him anywhere. Probably planning a sneak attack. The whale shark detector hasn't flashed once. We'd better get out and take a look around. Peso, you stay here and keep a lookout. Righto. Quasi, when we find the whale shark, here's our plan. We'll need to open its mouth to slip in and get dashy. But first, I'll confuse the beast by leaping all around like a heap of spaghetti. Meanwhile, I'll slither through your spaghetti. Captain Quasi! <gasps> Captain, behind you! It's the... <laughs> whale shark! You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashy! Dashy! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! The tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. 
This wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashie's hair clipping. But Dashie must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. Oh. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> <sighs> we seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Wow! Yeah! <laughs> hey guys, it's great to see you. Um, Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it, all the way back to the mouth. The beast's mighty jaws are shut tight. Activate helmets. Stand back. Oh. Your arms are powerful, Captain, but my legs are poetry in motion. Stand aside. Cat coming through. This might take all of us working together. Say, ah. Uh... Mm. Why won't you open your mouth? Mm -mm. You're a filter feeder. That's what you do. Whale shark. Tummy ache. If you tickle a whale shark's gills, he opens his mouth. If we all charge and push together, we can do this. Ready? Ready! Goochie, goochie, goo! On your marks. A goochie, 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 goo! Get set! Goochie, goo! Go! Hey, so! I got the whale shark to say, ah. You freed us! And you're the whale shark's tummy ache. Ah, cute little beast. Ooh, not so little. I can't decide which of these photos I took to send into National Geographic. They're all amazing. You must send each and every one. Actually, not all of them. Ooh, you might want to skip a few. <laughs> hmm. 
Vegetables. Captain, there's outside. I saw a. What's all the commotion about? There's something out there. Something big. Really big. I saw it. It's huge. It's white. And it made a noise like... Whoa! Captain, look at this. I managed to snap a picture of... whatever's out there. That's it. That's what I saw. What on earth could it be? It's as big as a whale. But whales are usually dark greyish. Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak. If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast. Strange heat patterns are coming from that pink-coloured reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. Then we'd better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. <gasps> ah. Oh. There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> this is no reef. Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. <laughs> what? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. 
I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're going to need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino. It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. We have to hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh! Looks like we've got company. A school of squid! We'll go around them. At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them. What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two, three! Hey! Uh, nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonauts. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more. And finished. Ha! Huh, a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect. Captain, 
We're entering the coldest Arctic water. Now, coming up to an ice pack. Excellent, Dashy. Steady as she goes. Aye, aye, Captain. At this speed, we'll reach the North Pole before nightfall. I can't wait to meet creatures that only live in the Arctic. Ah, the joys of polar life. I remember being a cub. Rolling in the snow, sliding on the ice, diving into the freezing water. I really miss it. Can't wait to get out there for an icy swim. <sighs> You're giving me the chills. I need some nice hot chocolate. It's only cold if you move slowly, Quasi. Keep swimming and you'll stay warm. It's as simple as that. In just a few minutes, we'll be out from under this ice pack. Then we can set the octopod down and... Uh-oh. What is it, Dashy? The octopod's getting so cold that my computer's frozen, Captain. I'm... I'm having trouble steering the ship. Yep, we better keep the octopod moving, or the engines will freeze and stop working. We can't let that happen, or we'll all be in... Big trouble. Dashy, activate manual steering now. Right away, Captain. Full speed ahead, Octonauts. It feels good to get my paws on the ship's steering wheel again. <sighs> We're right back on course again, Captain. Sharp. Aye, sharp enough to slice right through the octopod like butter. But the captain will steer us safely through. Yow! Giant iceberg dead ahead! Whoa! That was a close one, Quasi! <laughs> oh, the ocean deep is the life for me. Jumping off from port, sailing out to sea on the octopod, just you and me. And a million fish in the deep blue sea. Shiver me whiskers. Ice avalanche! Turn, turn, turn left! Turn right! There's nowhere to turn. We've got to stop the ship. Now. <gasps> Ten seconds till we hit the ice wall. <laughs> A fast, you mutinous, scurvy octopod! Stop! Six seconds till we hit the wall. Five. Hold on! <laughs> Three, two, one. It's okay. We've stopped. I know, but you're standing on my foot. Oh, sorry. Phew, that was close, mateys. Now what, Captain? If we can't go forward, then we go back the way we came. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Captain, are we in trouble? Well, Peso, we're trapped here in the freezing cold waters of the Arctic Ocean, surrounded on all sides by ice, with no clear way to escape. So that's a yes, then. Ah, you know, these ice walls are often quite thin. It might be possible to break through one of them. Aye, let me out there in the gut B, Captain. I'll smash that ice to smithereens. Or I could add a drill to the gut D and... Uh-oh. I was afraid this might happen. What might happen, Tweak? We've stopped moving. And it's so cold that ice is clogging the engines, shutting them down. 
written off all power to the Octopod. Ah, no good. The ice is too thick. If only I could find a place where the ice is thin. What's that noise? Captain, look over there. Something's breaking through the ice wall. <gasps> A blast! It is the legendary deep sea unicorn. Ah, that's no unicorn. It's a narwhal. A narwhal? A narwhal. Fascinating. It's a very special type of whale with a spiral tusk growing from its head. They only live here in the Arctic. That tusk is actually a long tooth, very much like an elephant's. By the way, unicorns are make-believe. Narwhals, on the other hand, are quite real. I knew that. Hello, Boris. Barnacles? <laughs> what a surprise. It's good to see you, old friend. It's good to see you too. I've known Boris ever since I was a cub. Yes, he was quite something, this bear. Always a leader, even as a young cub. But what are you doing inside all this ice? Our engines have frozen. We could really use your help getting out of here, old friend. But of course. My tusk is very, very good at telling if things are warm or cold. I can lead you out of the ice and into warmer, open water. Thank you, Boris. Now, we just have to work out how to get the ship moving again. Cap, the Octa engines are frozen solid. In that case, I'm going to need to change gups. Tweak, prepare the gup C. Okay, everyone. Here we go. Arr! One more time. There. Oh no! I don't believe it! Another solid wall of ice! Allow me, my friend! What's he doing? Using his tusk to feel how thick the walls are. Remarkable! As I thought, is always one place where the ice is thinnest. <laughs> You better swim aside, old friend. Thank you, Boris. You're very welcome, old friend. Temperatures are returning to normal, sir. And the engines are starting back up. Good work, Octonauts. So, now that we're free, who'd care to join me for a nice little icy water swim? Uh, gotta go clean up the launch bay. Uh, uh, no thanks. I've got to um, polish my spyglass. Yes, and I have to um, uh, clean up the lab. Yes, that's it. Oh, suit yourselves. <laughs> this is the life. Oh, the ocean deep is the life for me. Shoving off from port, sailing out to sea on the octopod, just as you and me. And a million fish in the deep blue sea. <laughs>